Hey guys, so there's a few softwares that you can use to do your recordings of your trades. Um, I've used a few of them, I've tested a few, but it comes down to Bandicam and ShareX, which I use Bandicam for video and ShareX for screenshots, but I do have Snagit as well, so I'll talk a little bit about that. And then to do this recording, I'm using Debut. I bought Debut like back in 2014 and um, it's good for long recordings but there is a little bit of a lag so yeah okay so ShareX is great it's free it's easy it's convenient and you can do your screenshots your videos and GIF files and other things that I'm not even aware of I'm sure so what you want to do is move that out of the way and I'm going to move this one out of the way too. So ShareX right here, I'm going to open this up and let's see, to do your audio, go to task setting, screen recorder, screen recording options, and uh, oh, I better change this. Okay. Um, you Dot need to install YM the recorder one. device. I had to do that earlier. And then once I did that, it gave me these options right here. So we're going to do Yeti. And then I'm just going to close this out. Close this out. And capture screen recording or screen recording GIF. They're both going to lead to the same thing, just about just different file format. So you'll get your little crosshair. You can select the window or you can draw it draw the selection that you want I'm just going to draw the selection here and then it will automatically start recording and you'll know that by the green little dash box here so you can abort it and it'll stop it won't save anything or you can stop it we'll just stop rename it. So as far as moving it to Discord, we're just going to open share screenshot folder. And um, let's see, testing on ShareX. Okay. So here is Discord. I'm just going to move it, drag and drop right over here. And as soon as we drop it in, we should get this little play button right here. If you don't get the play button here, then you may need to override some of your settings and then it will automatically start recording and you'll know that by the green little dash box here so, so it is playing you can afford it i don't know if i hear the audio though let me just double check the Dot audio ym1 and then it will automatically start recording and you'll know that by the green little dash box here so you can afford it Okay, so I don't hear any audio. Okay, let's see if it records audio this time. Give it a few seconds. Okay, let's stop it. Okay, let's see if it records audio this time. Give it a few seconds. Let's see, I think, okay, let my, yep, I have it linked to the wrong thing. So it was working, I just had the wrong audio source playing. All right, so that's ShareX. Um, ShareX is great. I, I really encourage everyone to use it. The only thing I don't like about it is that your screen selection, once you make that selection, that's pretty much it. You can't arrange it, change it, or anything like that. And each time you stop, it's gone and you have to make your selection again. So. That is ShareX, and the same thing with the GIF file. 
do exactly the same thing. Okay. Do that. Okay, and the next one is Bandicam. So I really like Bandicam. I found Bandicam probably about two or three months ago, just when I was testing some stuff out. I bought Bandicam with Bandicut. Bandicut is like a very generic editing s program. All it can do is cut, split, and join video. Very, very basic. So if you're looking for like an editing program, this is probably not it, but it's good if you just want to split something or make something shorter. So let's open up Bandicam. So in the morning, when I open up Ninja Trader, I go ahead and open up Bandicam. Okay, so this is Bandicam, and what you do is you can make your selection like everything else. You can also record the audio. Oops, wrong one. Okay, your setting, your audio here. Okay. And you can resave, uh, you could save a audio file every time you make a video too. Um, I do keep this enabled just, just because I have my own reasons for it, but you can disable it as well. Okay, so to do a recording, we're just going to, if I were to just click this like I just did, it's going to pop up the last setting that I have here. So if you know you're always going to be recording like two windows, um, then then that's great. You just hit the button and it automatically pops up for you. If not, you can X that out and you can, um, oops, if not, you can click the recording area and make your selection. So I'm just going to click this box for now. And as soon as you click it, click the box, the window, then another box will appear. This will be your s recording area. So to start the recording, just hit record. You can take a screenshot and it turns yellow for you. You can add this little pencil here and this will allow you to draw some stuff, um, highlight stuff and you know, just, just small little stuff like that. That's really neat. And uh, yeah, so if you were to click on this pencil again, it will just disappear, but it is still recording. If you want it to record another window, you can click this button and then just select another window. And there you go, you're recording another window now. So that's really neat. Another thing I like about it is you can move the recording window freely however you want. You can click on the red box and just arrange it like that. Or you can also hit shift right to extend the right side or shift left to bring it in or shift down to make it bigger and shift up to make it smaller. And it's still constantly recording if you look right here. That's a cool feature. Um, I think that's really it. So this is why I like Bandicam, just this flexibility right here. If I were to stop the recording, well, you could pause it too and move it however you want. But if I were to stop this recording, the recording box still does remain. So if I needed to pick up recording something right away, I could just hit record. So that makes it easy because I'm not constantly having to redraw another box. Okay. So the video does pop up right here when I save it, when I stop it. So that makes it easy because I'm not constantly having to redraw another box. Okay. I usually rename it in here. And 
then to move it into Discord, I'll click on this button. drag and drop, upload, and there it is. I'm going to delete this. Okay. So next on the list, snag it. I'll close this out. So Snagit is good, but for some reason it always crashes on me, and that's mainly the reason why I don't really use it. So if I were to capture something, little crosshair, and then we get our selection and record and then it turns solid and then it's recording so while it's recording you can't do all those features that bendy can can you cannot move the box if you try to move the box nothing happens um, but if there is a way to resize it then I do not know about it um, that's really it so we are going to stop this. And I'm going to find the file. We can't open the editor. So in here it's really neat if you wanted to change it into like a GIF file, you could. It will automatically do that for you. Or if you wanted to take a screenshot of a certain frame of a video, you can do that as well. But I'm just going to close this out. And I'm going to find it in the folder. Okay. So I'm not sure which one it is. Ten ten thirty-nine. Okay, so it's this one right here. And Again, drag and drop. Alright, so those are the softwares that I've used. Um, there's so many out there, so I hope this video is a little bit helpful if you're thinking about recording your trades. Yep, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys.